when to let go of a motherfucker. The moment you have built up energy inside of you that's deteriorating you or basically putting you into uncomfortable situations, that should be a strike one to, went to let somebody go. Because when you're holding on to something and when it holds on inside of you, it baggage you. And you don't want to have no baggages inside of you. You want to make sure that shit is gone completely. Second, when to let somebody go if they're not helping themselves. They're always complaining, whining, bitching. Always in the mirror, crying and shit. But they're not putting themselves into situations or making steps to make for it or make things better on their part. You let that motherfucker go. Because now, you're going to be having more problems and more issues on your hands. And of course, more baggages. Now you got to basically be carrying the goddamn burdens. The goddamn weight. And of course, you got enough weight on your plate when you're dealing with society. So you don't want to basically burden your shoulders with all this pent up energy. You want to let that shit go and of course, let it reciprocate. Because you got to learn how to find equilibrium and balance when you're basically dealing with individuals. Sometimes you got to learn how to let cut ties go. And sometimes you got to let motherfuckers get breaks in between. The moment you basically keep holding on <clears throat> is the moment things get heavy and things get burdened. Of course, you can't move around. You got to always know the equilibrium and, of course, the fairness and justice when it comes to basically dealing with individuals in the totality. Feel me? You never want to basically put yourself into situations of basically making that a routine. Third, when to let a motherfucker go. The moment you are basically putting a whole lot of time and energy and, of course, missing out on your events or missing out on your duties and responsibilities to basically lift up this person, you got to let that motherfucker go. Feel me? Because that motherfucker is not reciprocating the energy right back at you. And the motherfuckers is basically just shitting on the ass. So you're basically carrying dead weight. You're carrying toxicity. And of course, this motherfucker is eating at you as a parasite, which means when you sleep, aka you sleep, you don't know what's going on really behind the scenes with this individual. The individual is basically piggybacking off of you, eating you. Just like when Squidward got kicked out of his house, he was in SpongeBob house, and Squidward was basically in, li living freely, doing SpongeBob, taking advantage of him because he know he was going to keep basically. Then Squidward had a audacity to yell at SpongeBob and shit. It's going to be the same situation that you're going to basically develop. The person or the individual got way too comfortable. And that's another thing. When the individual or person get too comfortable...